Hey, how you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring walkthrough, real walkthrough, not playthrough with my expelled. Yeah, welcome back once again. Lots to cover in this episode, so uh, gonna try to speed things up a little bit. So, okay, my plan for this episode is I want to collect all the spells here. So instead of memorizing them, we gotta sort this out real quick. Um, cause we can still we still have the opportunity to get all the the spells and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just putting away all the unnecessary equipment. That's that's good for now. And the spells that we need, we need this, Asia Comet, or Comet Asia, uh, Ronnie's Dark Moon. What else do we need? I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, Elden Stars. Okay, and that's pretty much all we got so far. Uh, we need at least, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, there are seven of them. So we got four more, so let's let's count them right now in case I, I missed one. So there's one here, so then that's the fifth one. Five. Uh, there's one at the Ever Jail. There's an Ever Jail here. Six. Wait. <laughs> Three. Four, five, and then one from Salen, six, and then the dragon, seven. Okay, so we got all seven over there. Let's go ahead and collect them, and then we'll take on Gideon afterwards. Mm, so first one, we're going to go, it's this one right here. We'll go to this side of Greece. I'm planning to do all the... Legendary incantation, talisman, weapon, and then ashes of war. So that's the plan. This one is a little bit tricky because you can fall off and die. So this is the one I'm a little bit worried about because you have to cross a invisible bridge. <laughs> Sounds fun. Well, I hope it is. So this is the part here. And if you want to play it safe. This is my personal way of doing this. You just shoot an arrow in front of you as you go. Because we're trying to get up there. You just walk towards your arrow. Just walk in a straight line. You can also kind of see like there's snow in the air like that. You can see that white bit right there on the on our right. Okay, there should be like a curve that's coming up. I'll curve upwards to our left. So just keep an eye out for like for something like a path or something like that. Oh, it just went through over there, so it's not the path. There it is, you can see it. Okay, so this is gonna slant up and you can kinda follow this the snow that's landing on the invisible wall here. Or ground. Like if you're having a hard time seeing it, just use your arrows. But there's like a clear path of going up now. Okay, so we made it. We don't need our arrows anymore. Uh, do be careful when coming in here because we got some of these gargoyles in here. Ay, sheesh. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Yeah, these guys hit so hard. We don't need the... We don't need this. Actually, I don't even need that.
maybe that's why they hit they freaking hit so hard because I still had the crucible talisman on and then we got some of these guys in the lower floor here it's just the other side which we don't need to be at so we'll just go up Let's take the elevator up. Man, this eleva elevator is so damn slow. And there should be another enemy patrolling on the side right here. There you go. Take him out. And founding reign of stars. So this is going to be another key spell. Okay, so we got rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and do the Everjail one. Which we can just take this one. The Lyurnia's Lakeshore. I almost called it a Bonfire Side of Grace. Take this one. We have to do an Everjail for this one. But this... Should be a cakewalk. I believe this is like one of those earlier on ever jails that was like intended for you to, you know, fight this guy on there. Way lower level than we are right now. What the hell? I can't just run past that thing. Jesus. Alright, so this one's going to contain a, um... This guy. Wow. <laughs> Adan, Thief of Fire. Flame of the Fell God. Yeah, just, just two Waterfowl Dance hits, I guess, combos, and it is dead. There we go. So we got, what, how many we got now? Five. All right. The sixth one, it's going to be at Kaelid over here. So go to the fort here. And this is up to you on how you want to do this. Basically, we have to defeat this this giant ass dragon so you can jump attack oh, I'm gonna switch this out for this I lowered our attack because it's screened. Yeah, you can somewhat make it bleed. Well, actually, I just realized the bleed doesn't even like proc here. Okay, let's just do this. Then. So we can combo. I think it does around the same damage more or less. Because this is like what four 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 point six. 4.7 4.7 as to jump attacks it's uh okay we got attack buff that's why the jump attacks doing a little bit more right now okay I wasn't keeping count Let, let's see we'll, we'll get the combo in and then we'll go we'll switch over to um, jump attacks afterwards Jump attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think the jump attack does a little bit more with the combo buff. Because that's about like. 
If you round it up or down, it's like about 800 something. 700 or 800. And then you can just multiply that by like... What was the count again? Was it 7 or... <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so... 8 times 7 or 7 times 7. Well, actually... Maybe it's not all that much. Holmes, you gonna work on your math? I know. Anyways, pretty sure somebody will correct me on that with a proper math. Anyways, upon defeating the dragon, you'll get the dragon's heart and now a new draconic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Community. What? This one. Communi communion. I always thought it was a communication, but <laughs> it's just communion. Hey, come on over here. So we got the side of grace unlocked. This one. This is another um, key, what do you call it? Or a legendary incantation. So, yeah. So now that we have, we have six now, I believe. Pretty sure. Yeah, three here, three here. So we got six. And then the last one will be with uh, Selen. We have to do her quest line. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We got to get to a little rune here. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume the faith teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path but hear me out my apprentice i need your help to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery perhaps this is a journey we could take together splendid i thank you this pleases me it's been far too long since i found a fellow kindred spirit you must have a fabulous teacher I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars, such as his body now. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Canid wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. After his expulsion, a place called Thinking About it wouldn't be too. Okay. Alright, so. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Before I forget. Malachi. 
Malekith. <laughs> Malekith. This is the remembrance for him. Okay. Um, yeah, forgot. I, uh, I didn't show that off in the last episode. I kind of just ended the video as after the cutscene ended. So, yeah, that's uh, Malekith, Malekith's um, remembrance. And the item we just got from Selin. Oh my god, they all look the same. Hold on. It's this one. Salian Seal Breaker. This is what we need. Okay. So it's key that you do this. You grab this item from her. Otherwise, your trip will mean nothing. Because once you approach, like, Lusat, um, you won't be able to open the freaking seal without this, without the Seal Breaker. So it's important you grab this before uh, venturing into the dungeon. And uh, the spell I forgot to show off. Was this, did I show this off? I... I think I kind of just bought it and I left. Sorry, I'm just like running on a... What's it called? Muscle memory. <laughs> kind of, sort of. It's kind of tiring today. But um, I do want to try to finish this up soon. So yeah, anyways. So we're back at the same side of grace as, as the one we took uh, to take down the giant. The giant dragon, but instead of going towards where the giant dragon is, we're gonna come on over to the left side. Just that white rock right there, or I think it might be like a corpse of a giant. There's this spirit veil that you can just drop down. I'm pretty sure that's a corpse. Or well, maybe it's just a rock. I don't freaking know. Anyways, once you drop down, don't get distracted by the rock. Um, you want to come on over to the left side over here. You're going to see this grave, and there's going to be this sorcerer right here. Take him out. Or, it's actually kind of optional to take him out or not. And after taking him out, by the way, behind this giant tombstone, go straight, and this is a hidden wall. Okay, and then you can just venture in here. This is going to be... Uh, Salia Hideaway. Optional dungeon, depending on how you view this. So we can level up. And that's my desired stat for this build. So from here on out, whatever like runes we get, uh, I don't really care much about it. So, yeah. I'll probably just use it to, like top off or whatever. Like if I need more arrows, I'll just buy like the maximum amount and <laughs> stuff like that. Why am I capping myself at 150? Is there a point? Not particularly. Like if you only play if you only play PvE, it doesn't really matter. Like you don't have to. If you're only playing PvE, you don't have to worry about um capping yourself but I don't know maybe I'll kind of like want to do PvP or um, co-op with other players maybe sometime in the future so I'm capping myself at 150 for that particular reason so yeah once you make your way here I'm not gonna like 100% fully explore this location so I'll just do what I must. So... Okay, let's come on over here first. Uh, yeah, these guys hit like... Freaking... They hit like feathers, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Barely does any damage. So the key location where you want to go, it's over here. Drop down here. There's a snail. You can just one shot them. See, they they don't do a lot of damage. And this cave can be a little confusing. So if it does, oh shit! <laughs> I can just use that. Uh, if it does like become confusing, you can also use the rainbow stone to kind of like do a little landmark. So this is the the fuck. It's purple. God damn it. How can I see with that? Okay. 
that's slightly better. So this is the part that we took. Okay, if you look down, you can't really see anything, but if you look down, like, angle it kind of like slightly upwards like this, you can lock onto an enemy that's down there. That's just a sorcerer, by the way. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to headbutt me. Yeah, you can just drop down. If you have managed to have the lockdown, so you can just drop down, do a jump attack, and just kill him. Uh, it doesn't have much damage either, so you don't have to worry about it. And here is the Sally and Seal Breaker. Okay. Talk to him, quote unquote, talk to him. And you get Stars of Ruin. And with that, we have all the legendary um, spells and in incantations. So if you have, if you're playing on uh, PlayStation, your trophy should pop right about now. After you grab that, if you're playing on PC or Xbox, uh, your achievement will pop after that. So after that, how the heck, how the heck do we get out, Holmes? You can't warp out unless you kill the boss. So there's two options, you either kill the boss, or, I think it's this one, yeah, lose all runes and use, like, and you can use this to go back to the side of grace. But this place, it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty much nothing, it's really, like, it's a low level dungeon, if you will, so, I'll just... I'll show you guys how to get out of here. Yeah, even these guys, look at that. Look at how much damage they took just from that. I just did one jump attack and they were basically one foot in the grave and just one like, you know, combo attack and they were dead. So, yeah. Uh I didn't really explore much about this dungeon myself, so Yeah. <laughs> I only came here for the spell so I can get the trophy and the way to get to the boss so you can gain access to the warp option Not option option um, so you can just, just come on up here and then if you just want to proceed you just follow this path follow it all the way here there's gonna be these guys sitting by the campfire. He stood up for like one second and like sat back down. Just take care of these guys. Glowstone, we don't need, we don't really care about that. Uh, make you jump over here. And we're back to this part that we dropped off, okay. And the way to proceed to go through the level it's over here. All right. Um, there is, I believe, an item. Over here. And there's a hidden wall here. Crystal spear. All right. So yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's about as much as I'll go through this cave. Uh, I might come back later to do a thorough check, but for now, uh, on the interest of trying to save time because we're already like about 20 something minutes in right now and yeah we can we can go and take on Gideon and just end this right now but I kind of want to see uh Selin's quest line through so we'll do that and skip all those enemies here once you get here you could 
solo these guys or you can use a summon doesn't matter which summon as long as it's like a plus 10 summon it's you'll you'll be fine uh if it's not i mean you'll still be good but it's just kind of annoying to deal with all three of them as you guys saw like the guy that was using a spear it did hit us but it's like the damage was not like super major but having all three of them gang up on you can be a bit kind of a pain in the ass though. So, depending on how you want to deal with it, I'm just gonna <laughs> do this pretty much the easier way, I guess. Oh, oh that guy just Scarlet Rotted me. And your buddy's gonna give me that health back from the Scarlet Rod. Yeah, see, they don't really hit really. Like, they don't hit hard, actually. Hey, that was my crit. All right, fine. Okay, we'll pop it here. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty neat. You can backstab them while they're like as long as you're positioned correctly. You can backstab them as they're spinning around like that too. Health please. There we go. And that's it. We got all those snails waiting. And oh. Yeah, see, now you can just warp out. It's unlocked now. So Yeah. That's it for that. Uh let's go ahead and head on back over to Selen. And let's see what she has to say about these spells and stuff. The quest line is not too terribly long, but there is a little bit of talking. My apprentice, give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Can you even see inside her mask? Cause you get like pictures in Reddit where she looks. You can't see shit. Yeah, you can't see anything. 
what? Or maybe it's like another, another body, whatever. Um, the body she's talking about, it's over, it's over here. So I'll just go to this, uh, fourth church of Marika. So once you get here, you get on your mount. It's, it's down there. But don't drop down here because you'll die. Take this. Um, that's the mausoleum that we finished and also used. You can now come on over here. This is going to be this giant head that spawns. You can just take it out with three swings. Um, these enemies, these robot dudes, or whatever the heck they are, uh, make sure you take care of them. Okay, the reason for that is because if you don't, um, they'll actually come after you as you're doing like your little chats under underground. So just take care of these guys so they don't harass your ass while you're down there. Is that everybody? Can I go down in peace? Okay. There she is. This item on the side. Ambush shard. Uh, we also got another spell off of the those crystal enemies. So the crystal torrent is what we got from clearing that dungeon that we just took on. And also the ambushed shard. This is what we just picked up. Anyways, let's talk to Selen. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I entrust it with you. Myself. Salen's Primal Glintstone. Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. Treat it with care. My apprentice, what you hold is my very being. Treated what you hold. Alright, and if we reload the area, we can get uh, another NPC to show up, so let's go ahead and do that. Expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch, obsessed by the primeval current. Countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage. In the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. It is strange though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. In another body. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. 
I suspect so, but I'm sure a sick of them. And that's whoa. Is there blood? What the heck? Was there blood before? <laughs> Shit. Anyways, uh, that's it for that. Next location we need to hit up. It's um, we need to come over here. So we need to take this one. Come to this side of Grace, and we can further proceed with uh, the Selin's quest line. Alright, once you can use your mounts, where we want to head is at the, at the very tip right here. So somewhere over there. Because there's going to be a hidden ground. What the hell is my marker? All these like lights on the sky, <laughs> in the sky, it's like, it's confusing me where my, where my marker is since my marker is also blue. Alright, once you get on over here, there's going to be a guy yeah, there he is. Bye. And the secret door is down here. Okay, just whack this. And you can gain access to it. Get, get, get in there. There we go. Like a whole hidden back cave in here. And this hit, this huge ass wall is just an illusion. There's another, like, Selen's other body. Is this the one that you can see through? She. Can you even see through this one? No, <laughs> it's not. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. I just realized I forgot to inspect her uh, freaking glintstone. Now that we plunked it back into her, <laughs> I can't inspect it anymore. No! Oh well. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the Karian royal family. And My apprentice, shall we commence the lesson? As thanks for procuring this new form, I'll be holding you to a higher standard. So, yeah, these are all her sorceries. And since I'm not gonna really need the runes, might as well just buy them all. You wish to resume the lesson? Have I not been strict enough, I wonder? What lesson? I've learned all the sorceries. Anyways, if you um, relocate, the, I mean, if you sign back, I mean, sign out and sign back in, reload the area is what I wanted to say. Uh, not relocate. If you reload the area, she'll be gone. So, where will she go? I'll show you. So, you want to come on over here. This is going to be the boss room for the academy. So, once you get on over here. You can make your way out the door. Get out of town. And then you're going to see two signs. Okay. This one is going to be. You're going to challenge uh, Salad, which will. You'll get to team up with the, the other guy, that the old guy that we just saw. Forgot his name. Uh, didn't even pay attention to his name. Uh, if you join Salad, this one's you, you'll be summoned by her. This one, it's you'll invade her. Okay, so, yeah, um, since we already helped her out all the way here, where the hell would we betray her, right? So, let's see this through. So, there she is, and then there is 
Oh, Jaren. Witch Hunter Jaren. That's his name. <laughs> Pretty much Waterfowl Dance will take care of this. Yep, that's it. And then it'll spawn you back right here and you get its whole entire armor set. So you can look like the, the old guy. Or... Okay, that's his name. Gale from Dark Souls 3. I was like, I forgot what... There was a guy that looks just like this dude. In Dark Souls 3, I just forgot his name. But yeah, that's his armor set. And then now you can con come on over to where Salad is. Is this where you can see her freaking face? God damn it. What was I tripping this whole time where you can't see her face? Okay, I guess I was tripping. Save my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azur and Lusat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current, so that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling. To be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I... No. The entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch. My apprentice. Become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time... I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. The dullest pupil. Last uh, sorcery that she'll teach you. What is it, my apprentice? Alright, so that's pretty much it for Salen's quest line. You rest here. Um, <laughs> this NPC's back. Fuck, what's her name again? I'm like forgetting everybody's name. Oh, is it thy wish? Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Okay. I'm sorry, Renala. So once you come, like once you rest. At that side of grace, she's gonna pop back, and this is selling now. <laughs> Holy shit! Which is glintstone crown? It's like um, kind of reminds me of Resident Evil, where you take too much of like, I don't know, it's just like the whole thing with Wesker, where when you took too much of the freaking the virus thing, it became all. Nasty looking. This is that's exactly what happened to sell in here. Uh, what was I gonna do? All right, this is her crown. Yeah, was it worth it selling? Was it uh, my uh, wait? I, I yeah. To which one of like which one of her which one of the head is her is she I should say which one of the head is she anyways 
Uh, one last thing to cover before we go in um, smack Gideon. Um, you can get both of the master's armor. So for the azure one, azure is this one right here. You just warp over here and where their corpse used to be, you can just grab the whole entire armor set. So here's the weird helmet. I think these benefit, um, I think that one benefits like what? It boosts your attack, I think. It boosts the potency if I didn't read that <laughs> wrong. And yeah, only the helmet, I believe. Like the um, the rest of the armor doesn't do anything. And then same thing with the uh, Lusat. So if you go to the Celia hideaway, same deal. You go back to where the corpse is. And you can get the other guy's armor set. But yeah, of course all the enemies are back because we we warped out. And yeah, so up to you if you want to deal with everybody. You could just choose to run by everybody. Doesn't really matter. Just keep going over here. This is the straight shot to the corpse. Oh shit, it fell all the way down. Jesus. Alright, that sorcerer, yeah, he's also back. I was trying to Bloodhound step through it, and instead I just Bloodhound step closer just to get hit by all three shots. <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go ahead and kill Gideon now. Um, we just gotta go back to Lindale, capital of Ash. All right, so once you get back to Lindale, uh, it sucks how you can't use a, a mount here. Anyways, um, deciding what I should do. Well, we'll use the Lord of Blood uh, exaltation here for the Gideon fight. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can still gain access to the swords by dropping down there. And I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a there's still a talisman that we didn't pick up from last time. Yep. Yeah, this is a talisman right here. Crimson Amber Talisman plus two. There we go. We had the plus one, now we have the plus two. So if you want extra HP, that's how you can get it. Okay, back. Back to this. So this looks like a place that you should ride, you should be able to ride your mount, right? Because, I mean, it's so, like, 
it's so open with nothing. This place was like, <laughs> looks like shit. Anyways, um, the way to go, it's this is the side of grace. We pretty much just went straight, more or less. And you want to just approach the castle. And once you reach this part here, you want to just go to the right side over here. You're going to see those set of stairs. That stairway right there. And then just take this. For Gideon, you could let him finish his speech as you approach him. Or you can just run up to him as he's doing his speech and then whack him, which is what we're gonna do. Because if you let him finish his speech and when the fight begins, like fair and square, it, it gets kind of annoying due to the fact that he spams so much. And I mean, there's a, there's so much freaking uh, spells that this asshole spams, and he's standing right there. So I'm just gonna speed this up by a tiny bit. Blood grease. Actually, we should. We can craft more. Let's get about five more up in this inventory here. I guess now we have seven out of. Say what? Now we have six. We're gonna use one right now. Yeah, use it outside of the boss room. See, it's starting to talk. Shut up. To become Elden Lord. What a sad affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. So pretty much just keep pressure on them when it comes to the jump attacks. And that's it for Gideon. <laughs> Simple, nope. Pretty much, yeah, like I said, just keep up the pressure with the jump attacks and you'll down them no problem. You can you can even like if you can combo him, which I've done before, if you can just keep stunning him. Because sometimes like he you hit him once and he just walks back, right? He just does this and you just walk forward, rinse repeat, and he does the same shit. You can just do that and if you can manage to get him to do that, this is random what he does. Sometimes he'll run away, sometimes he'll just keep stepping back and try to cast and you can just keep hitting him. But yeah, if he, ma if he does that, you can just, you basically haven't, you'll, you'll have an easier fight than what I just had, which, you know, the fight that we just had right now was pretty fucking simple because we just, we pretty much just murdered him. So yeah. Uh, I've had uh, fights with Gideon where he didn't even manage to pull off a heal, so that's how great <laughs> that was. Okay. Oh, by the way, the stuff that he dropped. Oh, knowing eh, that you know you were gonna die. Scepter of the all oh, no. Holy crap, I just realized like the on the very tip of the the scepter is a it's like a hand. Oh, by the way, there's also this that we got from uh Selen. And that's it. And that's all. Don't fall off, because that's you know, you'll die. So pretty much at this point, we just retrace her step back.
Those dragons look so... Looks way bigger, it looks like. Head up this side of Greece. This is gonna be our main side of Greece for the next boss fight. And we get the Earth Tree Heal. This is a new spell. Damn these like the the, in the incantation looks so beautiful. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. We still got like we got a whole bunch of more uh, runes off of Gideon there. But like I said before, I'm not gonna level up anymore. I'm gonna just cap it at 150. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, hopefully this video has helped. And if it did, hopefully y'all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Oops. Oops.